Um, but eventually I started, I started coming on the nights when Babel was on. <laughs> it was good, I, I got a lot out of it. I gained quite a following, became known as the white Eminem. <laughs> This is, this is uh, the first time I've been on a stage uh, since 2019. No way. No. It is. Uh, so, a uh, lot's happened. Um, thank you for your uh, cicada noises. Um, <laughs> last time I performed uh, at all, um, I did not have a beard. Um, and I did have a wife. Uh, but I think the swap is going quite well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a poem uh, from the old days, because um, I've, uh, and it's apt, because I've gone through a lot in the last few years. It's been a lot of hardship and challenges. Uh, but tonight isn't about looking back, tonight isn't about recrimination, tonight is not about relitigating the emotional firestorms of our personal history. Uh, tonight, for me anyway, is about one thing, and one thing only, uh, and that is finding buyers uh, for the 17 drums of tainted alpaca semen that uh, through poor investment advice I currently have in my garage <laughs> so there will be a silent auction after the main feature tonight. First I'm going to read a poem. Uh, it's called Don't Give Up. Um, and this is a story actually, I'll tell you the story. It's because a lot of times during the last few years I wanted to give up. I, I, I didn't want to go on. And then I had this dream. Um, I had a dream that I was uh, walking along a beach uh, with the Lord Saviour Jesus Christ by my side and uh, we were making footprints in the sand and, uh, at one point I looked back behind us and I noticed that at all the hardest points of my life there was only one set of footprints in the sand instead of two and uh, I turned to my Lord Saviour Jesus Christ and I said to him, um, Lord why is it that when I needed you the most, you left me alone? And he said, uh, my child, I would never leave you alone. He said, those points where you see only one set of footprints, uh, that was when we were both hopping. <laughs> <laughs> because we'd stepped on blue bottles. Um, and then... Uh, and then Jesus and I, uh, we did wheeze on each other's feet. <laughs> and that's what this poem's about. Because it was that dream that taught me the importance of not giving up. And that's why I'm saying to you, don't give up. Never, ever give up. I never give up. You knock me down, I'll get back up again. If you kick me, I will kick back. If you shoot me in the knees, I'll writhe on the ground and cry like a baby. If you fire a harpoon from point blank range directly into my chest, I'll die almost instantly. Because <laughs> that's the sort of man I am. <laughs> Proud, determined, and stricken with obsessive murder fantasies. <laughs> but I never give up. Did Joan of Arc give up when they said a woman could never split the atom? Did Gandhi give up when Hitler stole his magic feather? They did not. And that's why you must never give up. You fall off your horse, you get right back on. And if that horse dies, get a bike. <laughs> if someone dismantles that bike, catch a bus. And if that bus is blown up by terrorists, start running. <laughs> Run like the wind, because the most important thing is, don't 
Be late. Don't be late for your date with destiny because destiny despises tardiness. And if you are late, you may not get in for an interview and you have to sit across that desk from destiny. You have to look destiny in the eye and you say, I'm not going away, man. What are you going to do? And when destiny says to you, I'm not going to do anything. I'm an abstract concept which you have anthropomorphized into the point of complete meaninglessness. You throw back your head and laugh. <laughs> laugh like the world is ending. Ending in a hilarious way. Because otherwise, why would you laugh? <laughs> laugh and keep laughing, for laughter is the food of the gods. Some may say the food of the gods is corn. But we know it's laughter. After all, can corn nourish the soul? Can corn bring a sparkle of delight to a tiny child's eye? Can corn feed a hungry family? Of course it can. And that's why I'm telling you tonight, the next time you find yourself with a dead horse, remember, corn. Yeah. Yeah. It's Woo. great and tastic. Yeah.